everybody. Thanks for joining us here tonight uh, via the internet. Uh, my name is Mark Leopold. I'm one of the taproom employees here at Lawson's Finest Liquids. This is Chase Mormon. He is also a taproom employee here at Lawson's Finest Liquids. We are in the newly reopened beer garden right now. It's been a great first four days. Lucked out with the weather. Things are going swimmingly. Thank you to everyone who has joined us so far. And thank you to those of us who are joining at home. We, how many people do we have watching right now? 74,000 people. Wow. That's even more than I thought it was going to be. Welcome, Let's see everybody. if we can get that up to 100,000 people. All right. If you're watching at home and you have any questions for either of us, feel free to uh, type them into the old uh, internet box, and uh, we're going to answer those questions for you. They can be about really anything. Uh, secret recipes that you want us to share, we'll share them. Whatever you want. All right. As I said, joined here tonight by, uh, with uh, Chase Mormon right now. Chase. How's it going, everybody? Introduce yourself. Hey, guys. My name. Thank you, Mark. My name's uh, Chase Mormon. I'm a freestyle skier from here in Vermont. I've been working as a beer tender here at Lawson's Finest for about three years now, and yeah, loving it. Chase uh, has been with us since the beginning of the tap room. He is recently back from a sabbatical, though, where he got to take some good time off uh, pursuing the skiing that he does. Pretty incredible opportunity. Uh, so he just restarted this week, and we're super happy to have him back to feel like our team's a little bit more complete. Uh, tonight, Chase, what are you drinking? Mark, tonight I'm drinking uh, one of my favorites, the Peril, Imperial IPA. Peril comes out once a year. It's our anniversary beer. It's Imperial IPA. Like Chase said, it's 11.1% alcohol. Love the can. Purple and green. Nice, nice deep purple can here. Beautiful can, yeah. Yeah. All right, and I'm Chill. drinking the uh, Scrag Mountain Pills with salt and lime. We do this once a year. Uh, we drink a lot of the Scrag Mountain Pills as a staff here. It's a great Czech-style Pilsner. Uh, when we have the salt and lime available, a lot of us gravitate towards that for the brief time that it is available. So we're going to open our beers and... Uh, Shall we? And, and drink them with our drinking apparatuses. Ooh. It's also black fly season here in the North Country. Are they bothering you? Me neither. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> cheers. Hey, cheers. Cheers, man. Mm. Always hits. Always hits it. What do you like about that beer specifically? Um, I like the smoothness for sure. That's like right off the bat. It's got a nice, nice malt backbone to it. Um, but it's pretty. It's pretty sweet. Um, it's. I'm getting kind of like. Uh, grapefruitiness taste to it I'd say across the board our beers as a whole no matter how strong they are exceptionally yeah. smooth I know that that's yeah. something that we mentioned a lot but this one in particular the peril mm -hmm. my goodness I mean for how like kind of hazy it tastes it's not a very hazy beer um, I can see through it which is nice really really nice color to it kind of ambery orange um, but yeah, it's deceiving. Like you said, it's what? Yeah, it's eleven eleven point one percent. Deceivingly, um, like I would, if I were to blind taste test this, I would say it's seven seven and a half percent. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, I'm sure I'll be feeling it any second now. <laughs> <laughs> we're also joined here tonight by one of our food curators, Chris Tiersen, our lead brewer, Chris Heilman. And one of our newest beer tenders, Sherry Shonigal, who everyone here in this area knows. And we had an opportunity to add her to our team here recently. And we are ecstatic that we did. Yeah. Right, Sherry? <laughs> nice. Mark, uh, what are you drinking over there? Salt and lime? Yeah, salt and lime. One yeah. of my favorites. Yeah. Tell Bre us about it. Brewed with a little uh, salt in the boil. Then we add uh, lime juice during fermentation and lime zest uh, before packaging. And it's got a nice zippy character mm. to it. It doesn't go too far in any one direction. It's just a really nice drinker overall. Julia, do we have any questions that need answering? Well, people were wondering what to do when they come to the beer garden. What to do when people come to the beer garden? That's a great question. Uh, so we start off by asking people to please reserve a table in advance online at lawsonsfinest.com. When you get here with your reservation, you'll be greeted at our host stand by one of our lovely beer tenders, and they will check you in. Uh, they'll make sure that we have all of your uh, contact tracing information. 
Um, we're trying to provide the most relaxed, enjoyable atmosphere as we can. We do ask that you wear your masks from being greeted uh, on your way to your table. And if you get up to use the restroom, we ask that you keep it on as you're walking to the restroom and back to your table. But beyond that, we just want everyone to be able to uh, relax and taste what they want to taste here, food, beer, and otherwise. We certainly have a lot of non-beer options as well uh, to appease the whole crowd. Uh, next slide. <laughs> All right, so you'll be escorted to your table by uh, by our lovely beer tenders. Uh, we have a flag system that we'll tell you about where if we don't uh, or if you don't want us to bug you, just leave your flag down on your table. And if you'd like something, we just ask that you pop that flag up on your table and we'll come over as quickly as we can to get you what you need. And I served and I served today and it's pretty simple. It works really well. I'm really happy with uh, how it works, how it's working so far. Absolutely. All right. What's next on the uh, the agenda here? I know we're going to we switch some people in and out. Should we, should we talk more about our beers? We certainly could. I mean, <laughs> I got my first vaccine today, so they told me to drink lots of fluids. So, I mean, I got I got time. I'm not sure that's what they had in mind. <laughs> and it was supposed to be a, it was supposed to be a joke. No, yeah, I got that. <laughs> um, maybe how about where do you guys like to enjoy like that type of beer specifically you're drinking? Where do we like to enjoy this particular beer that we're drinking specifically? That's a great question I'll from let the you internet. Start. Uh, I'll tell you what. You can enjoy these beers practically anywhere uh they they travel well uh <laughs> no we we do enjoy these beers uh in a lot of places there's tons of great outdoor recreational opportunities in this area uh we enjoy them kayaking we enjoy them hiking fishing skiing yeah. golfing golfing that's a great one too um, disc golfing disc golfing yeah i got out for Which the first Mark time did this morning this at morning. 7 30 before work yeah it was kudos, a great time to get kudos out. to him Thanks. I did not drink a beer this morning disc golfing. Right. But we like to disc golf, and it's a good time to drink a beer out in the woods. Yeah. No, it totally is. But maybe um, maybe, a, maybe a Scragarita would do well in the uh, the old disc golf course, but I'm not sure about apparel. I think it depends. Uh, depends what your, uh, what your goals are for the... Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I know if I'm drinking apparel, I'm pretty much done for the day or night. Usually on the couch, just yeah. because it's eleven point one percent. Yeah, it's it's sleepy juice for sure. Yeah, yeah. Any other questions right now? Yeah, people want to know if there is a time limit when you come to the beer garden. That is also a great question. Yeah. Is if there's a time limit when you come to the beer garden, Chase? Hour forty five minutes. Yep. So we'll get you to your table as quickly as possible, uh, so you can enjoy that time block, and then uh, we just. Um, want to make sure you have enough time to eat and drink whatever you care to, and then we just need enough time in between seatings, in between your uh, reservation ending and the next one beginning to make sure that we can get in there and clean and sanitize all surfaces and make sure that, uh, that we're being as safe and healthy as possible. Awesome. And what happens if it rains or there's inclement weather? If it rains right now, we're uh, we're working on making sure that our inside is set up to accommodate uh, inclement weather. Uh, so there will be options to move your reservation inside if you care to. Uh, and if you're more comfortable just being outside right now, that's something that we totally understand. And right now we have 16 or 17 different package beers to go. So if you care to uh, take your beer and food experience with you, we can absolutely make that happen with all these fresh beer options as well as our to-go food program to provide you with anything you need to enjoy what we have to offer. Awesome. And is there anything else that you would like to add? Like, how is it having people back here compared to when there was no one in the beer garden? It was it's awesome. Yeah, it is awesome. It was a long, it was a long winter, a long Even less. though I wasn't here for the winter. <laughs> <laughs> and I we could tell. You. I could tell. Yeah, for sure. Everyone, I know, everyone's really glad to, to have the public back and the locals back, and um, yeah, it's been it's been a really good start to this first uh, this first week. So come on through. Yeah, we've we'll seen a lot of familiar, a lot of familiar faces from 
last year and years past that have already come through and set high in our beer garden. It's, it's such a nice reminder of why we're here and why we're trying to provide these experiences to see everyone show up and enjoy your beers and to see everyone's smiling faces. So it's been a great reminder of all of that. And please, yeah, come and see us. Come drink some beer. Come chat with us. We're here to to provide a welcoming atmosphere and we're really excited to take this first step uh, of many to get back to what we uh, want to be doing here. So thank you for supporting us and come by and see us as soon as you can. Awesome. Are there, um, are there any plans to open all the way or inside at least? Uh, opening more and more. I think that'll be incremental uh, as time allows us and as the, the scenarios allow us to, we certainly have plans for what the next steps will all look like. So when we're ready to go, we'll be ready to go. Um, but right now, uh, we're just operating the, the beer garden for outdoor service as much as we can. But whenever we can move on to the next step, we are ready to do so for sure. Awesome. Is there anything else that you guys would like to add? I'm good over here. Yeah, I think that that's uh, <laughs> that's all for us. But thank you for allowing us to sit down and. We've got three more hot guests about to join <laughs> us, so we want to save some time for them as well. Absolutely, I'm going to hand off my microphone to Chris Tiersen, our food curator, and Chase is going to hand us off to Sherry Shonigal, one of our fellow taproom employees. Thanks for your time, everybody. Thank you, Mark. All right. Well, welcome everyone. Um, I'm Chris Tiersen. Um, I am a few food curator in the kitchen, and that's basically a fancy word for uh, I make some of the food in the kitchen for you guys. Um, and we have really expanded the menu, and I'll talk about that in a little bit, but I'd like to welcome Shari here and um, have her tell us about herself a little bit. Well, thanks, Chris. This is amazing to be sitting in the beer garden again. It's quite the feeling after all this time that we haven't been able to socialize and be out and enjoy everyone's company, and I've really missed that. And I can't tell you how ecstatic I am to be here as part of the Lawson's Beer Tender crew. It's amazing. Great, great. Um, so uh, why don't we uh, crack open one of our beers here? So um, I am drinking Maple Nipple. It's an amber ale, uh, one of my favorites. So here we go. And I have the Knockout Blonde, Blonde Ale. Absolutely amazing, fun to pour with one hand. <laughs> All right, well, cheers. Cheers, Chris. Oh, so good. Mm. Yes. That certainly hits the spot for me anyways. Um, I'll just uh, tell you about the maple nipple a little bit here. Um, obviously, there is um, a lot of maple syrup in this beer. Um, the maple syrup comes from Puritan Farm over in Huntington, Vermont. Um, and it's a really smooth um, malt forward beer um, with that um, sticky ending to it, a slightly stickiness to it. And uh, yeah, I just, I like a darker beer. So this is my go-to here at Lawson's. Cheers. I, on the other hand, have been recently introduced to Knockout Blonde, and those who have waited on me here at the beer garden know that I'm, I usually gravitate toward Prosecco, but I'm widening my horizons, and, and I was introduced to this, and I was pleasantly surprised at how amazingly good this was. It's got a really great hop aroma to it, and the smell... I can, the one way I can describe it is summertime in the Finger Lakes when you are walking in the vineyards or you smell fresh picked grapes 
it has that aroma to it. It really takes you it takes you back to remembering your summer's vacation. It is one of those light ales that can they can travel with you anywhere. Uh, Blueberry Lake, you just got done paddleboarding. Crack one of these open. It's amazing, refreshing. The perfect beer to take to a get together, summer outside, that kind of thing. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, the maple nipple um, kind of like uh, Chase's beer. It's on the higher percentage. This is an 8% beer. Um, the knockout blonde is, what is that? 5%. 5%. So, yeah. Um, I Actually, knockout blonde has been one of my favorites. Talking about those black flies there, Mark. They're now attacking <laughs> Mark me. Mark brought them in. <laughs> um, yeah. So, anyways, um, yeah. And... You know, working here at Lawson's, you will definitely get to Absolutely. expand your horizons in your uh, beer tasting uh, tasting buds. So for sure, for sure, for so, sure. Um, yeah. So Shari, why don't you tell us about what you do here at Lawson's? So I am newly joined a uh, member of the team for Lawson's. I'm a beer tender here, and uh, what I do is it's a lot of fun. I have to tell you, so far it's been amazing to be on the other side as being a patron here for you know the first two years and now being on the other side it's amazing to see what goes on behind the scenes and it's 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 an honor to be a part of this team now it's it's really cool yeah um we definitely like to have fun in the tap room for sure um everybody that's here they're all just great human beings um and yeah i feel very fortunate to work here also um, yeah, and um, our employers, they take really great care of us, um, and we have the Sunshine Fund, um, and maybe, Shari, you want to talk about sure, sure. the Sunshine Fund a little bit? Uh, this month's recipient is Pathways, and uh, Pathways, I'll give you like a, the little mission statement here. They're dedicated to ending chronic homelessness by prioritizing access to permanent housing and continued support services, uh, which is an amazing cause, as are all the causes Lawson takes on. And uh, you can find more about them at pathwaysvermont.org, uh, Facebook and online. Okay, great. And for those of you out there um, in the interwebs, and uh, the Sunshine Fund basically is... Um, we here at Lawson's are paid uh, a wage that is a livable wage for us. And in lieu of getting tips, all tips are put into a donation every um, month. And that money um, goes to a local uh, nonprofit organization um, that helps the community. Um, and uh, let's see. So and we really kind of focus on the Mad River Valley in Washington County, but in Vermont too. So um, and just striving to uh, help the community thrive is what the Sunshine Fund is about. And 100% of the donations from your tips go to that. So um, they do really great work with it. So yeah, um, let's see. Um, yeah, and I'll talk about um, in the kitchen. So uh, we have expanded, if you've been here, you've probably noticed that we have expanded the menu a little bit. Uh, we are now offering several different kinds of sandwiches and salads and um, just um, a little bit um, heartier food to help wash down some of these heartier beers that we got out here. Um, but yeah, there's a little bit of something for everybody it, from the kitchen and um, and we have our old standbys we still have our pretzels uh, and beer cheese and full Monty plates and cheese plates um, so yeah we're just still cranking it out so um, you have anything else you'd like to add Shari we have some questions oh for okay you. great um, yeah people want to know what beers we have in the beer garden right now Shari, I'll let you handle that. So on tap currently, if I can remember every single one of them, there's Schnookerd, there's, oh my goodness, you're going to put me on the spot. Uh, there's the Pink Boot Society Sour that's out there now. Uh, Sisterhood Sour. The Sisterhood Sour. 
There is our maple nipple. There is our sip of sunshine. I, I should bring Mark back in for this to give the list. <laughs> the whole, we, we've got the little sip. We've, we've got, there's so much on tap. There's a really a lot of great beers that are available right now. Exactly. As Mark said, you want it, we got it. <laughs> so there's that. And also retail, there's a ton in retail. Drive up, visit us, get a four pack to go for the weekend. Heck, get a case. <laughs> Just. <laughs> Any other questions? Uh, that's all. Everyone's just saying you guys are queens out there. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> um, oh, awesome. Yeah, if we want to introduce our next yeah, guest, I think so, we can. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm going to have so much, Chris come in and join me. So we'll be Chris squared off. up here. So. Chris times two. Yeah. I'm going to trade off. You get this. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, welcome. Thank you, Shari. Welcome, Chris. Howdy. Hi. I'll let Chris uh, introduce himself and uh, tell us I'm what you do here at Lawson's. I am Chris Heilman. I am the brewer here. Uh, what I do is brew the beer. We love you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, tonight I am having Little Sip, which hopefully you have gotten a chance to enjoy. Um, this is our little cousin uh to sip of sunshine um so it's a little bit lower alcohol at 6.2 um but still has that grapefruit tropical um citrus punch that you're all looking for um it's it's just a fine drink great well let's cheers then chris cheers, cheers. Do we have questions? We um, yeah, well, if you could just maybe tell us a little bit. Um, yes, you brew the beer. Um, could you maybe just give us a little bit more detail more details, about, yeah. about um, that? And so just maybe a little process and things like that? Uh, well, I won't go into the process in detail well. <laughs> um, but because we'd be here for a long time. Um, but the one of the biggest things um, that I do is turn um, mainly pilot beers. So beers that um, we do small scale versions of, so uh, various hop versions of um, the Super Session. Um, we try different hops and then figure out ways to scale it up. So from a one barrel, 31 gallons, to a um, 35 hectoliter or, or uh, roughly 40 barrels um, so that we can distribute it and figure out a way to get it from a small batch um, and make it taste the same um, in a much larger scale. Um, a lot of it is quality control. Got two um, amazing salmon, Brian and Ray, um, who basically take what I make, bean wort, and add dry hops to it, and really they turn wort into beer. Um, and they really make, make this place shine. Great. Uh, any questions? Yeah, could you tell us a little more about the pilot process and what that is and maybe talk about your pilot beer that you just brewed? And I think we have some pictures for that oh, too. You picture me doing stuff. Right. Okay, uh, yeah, so basically pilot um, idea is we do have a, um, a series of beers that we would like to get um, out, out in the market, um, but we, we don't, we don't want to go a giant scale with it. Um, so the sensible thing to do is do a small scale. Um, so we have a one barrel um, SS Pierce, I mean, I'm sorry, that's a terrible vodka brand, um, SS Brewing, um, one barrel system in our, in our, um, uh, <laughs> in our uh, shut up in our uh, in our brewery um, so we have a series of tanks so for example if I want to do a um, a specific hop brand um, of beer I will do a small batch of it and scale it up um, if there's a type of beer that I really want to explore um, for example we just did a beer called node 3 um, in, tri in tribute to the uh, International Space Station and that was a beer using um, some new, newer hops, um, such as Trident, Calypso, 
Um, and one of my new favorites, Lotus, which has a really nice um, tangerine um, aspect to it. Um, and is low alcohol at 5.2. Um, so what I did is basically created a, a, um, a batch of that. Uh, we put it on draft for opening weekend, and I think we went through that in a day or two. Um, that I was supposed to be drinking that tonight, but Mark sold too much of it. Um, so that's the pilot system. Great. Uh, yeah, I mean, I got to experience the pilot system when we did the Sisterhood um, Sour um, for the Pink Boots Society, and that was kind of my first uh, introduction into brewing any kind of beer at all. I never had really knew, I really knew nothing about the process, so that was really cool to kind of get in there and see what you guys do, so. Yeah, yeah that's another really aspect great. of it is um, any employee is open um, to come up with a beer, um, and they if they have a recipe that they have down pat, that's what the recipe is. I'll brew it, um, but if there's also a concept of what they want to do, um, I will also brew that. Um, so, um, and you know, help them um, turn it into a beer that you can actually drink. Um, but it also helps with um, having the um, beer tenders um, and you know, just general people of the staff um, know what the hell they're talking about when they um, talk about their company. Yeah, yeah, thank you. That's pilot. Um, yeah, it's yeah, uh, yeah. It was great because I really knew nothing, and um, you know, there's a lot of science behind making beer. It's all science, and um, and so that was you know kind of a cool thing that you know it's basically almost like chemistry, right? I mean, you're mixing, and but you got to know how to mix it right. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, any other questions? Uh, yeah, a couple people are wondering if you take any requests. For beers? Yes. Oh, sure. Uh, and within reason. I mean, if it's, um, yeah. But yeah, I'll brew just about anything. Um, I've tried just about anything. Um, yeah. Awesome. And are there any more, like, beer garden exclusives, like your Node 3 coming down? Yeah, um, we've got a couple um, in the works, um, and we'll have more out th uh, more out soon. Um, we have a grapefruit blossom IPA, um, which Sean Lawson himself brewed. Um, that'll be coming out soon, um, and that's going to be um, more information about that will be soon. Um, but yeah, what what we really would like to do is just um, continue to make small batch beers. So you, literally, if you get here on a Friday or Saturday, you might get one pint of it, you might not get anything, um, but that's kind of the whole point. Um, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, um, you know, it's beer, so we'll drink it. Uh, but um, <laughs> but yeah, the, the, we'd really like to just continue to have a revolving series of, um, of beers off the pilot system um, to, you know, set free on the public. Um, and if it works, you know, we'll try it out on the, um, the original seven barrel and then, uh, we'll try it out here on site. Maybe. Great. Great. Yeah. Is there anything else that either of you would like to add? Um, I think I'm good with myself. I don't know. Chris, you have anything else to add? Not really. Yeah. Well, thanks so much. Okay. For well, thank you, everybody, for yeah, joining for us um, here at Lawson's Finest in the Beer Garden. And hopefully we look forward to seeing you here in person. Um, and as things start to open up, uh, hopefully we can increase our capacity here and get everybody back to the way it was. So until then, cheers. Cheers. Have a good night.